Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. We created one interface. We use that interface into two classes. Now we will call these class methods based upon these radio buttons selection. And method is a instance method. It means we will call with the help of object. So I will write start of selection. We know whenever we will click on the execute button, start of selection event will call. And I will declare two objects. Type ref2. What is my first class name? Sales. And what is my second class name? Billing. Now, if first radio button is capital X, I will write a code to call my sales class method. I will create the object, create object, hello underscore object. If the object is created, can I call a instance method? Yes, I can call. How to, what is the operator for instance method? Hyphen and greater than key. Now, do not write display. Do not write directly display. How to call a method? Interface name, tilde operator, method name. So this is the way to call a interface method. Now we'll simply we all know whenever we will call, all will interchange. Import is export and export is import. So we have one exporting and four importing now. Whatever the input you will give to the program, we are passing it to method. And there will be four importing parameters. Importing per dat is equal to lv underscore er dat per zdt lv underscore er zdt per num is equal to lv underscore er num pvb type is equal to lb underscore bb type. And I will write the output. The sales order is, details are as follows. What is my first variable? lb underscore er dat. What is my second variable? LB underscore ERZDT. What is my third variable? ERNUM. And the fourth variable is LB underscore VB. Similarly, if my second radio button is capital X, I will create the object of second subclass. This is my object two. So it will call my billing class. I will declare these four variables. I will write data lb underscore er dat. This thing we are repeating so many times because same requirement we are achieving by different different topics i'll go for er num and i will go for vb type i'll check the syntax 
syntactically correct and I will activate the program. Now I will put the breakpoint and show you the execution in the debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint on first radio button. This is my second radio button. Sorry, by mistake. I'll put a breakpoint on second radio button. I'll put the breakpoint in first class implementation and second class implementation. I'm running. I'm passing three. Okay. So I'll go to desktop three. My first radio button is capital X. So my this if condition is true. It will create the object. Yes, object is created. When the object is created, can I call the method? Yes, I can call. Whenever I will do F5, you can see it is going to the logic of VBAK table. It is fetching the data of these four columns and it is returning to these four parameters, these four variables, these four variables. And this is my output. Now, if I will go for VBRK table, I'll just check some entry from VBRK table. I'll check some billing document from VBRK table. Okay, I will take this. I'll choose the second radio button. I'll close some session. And in this case, my second radio button is capital X. It will go inside the if condition. It will create the object. Yes, object is created. Now, whenever I will go inside this method, it is fetching data from which table? VBRK table. And it is now displaying that data from VBRK table. That is your billing details. So this is all about the how to create an interface with the help of SC38 transaction code, how to create classes using that interface, and how to call those class methods. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.